Welcome back. Imagine moving to another country as an adult and having to find your way. In today's In Their Shoes, we introduce you to a Jamaican native who isn't just surviving here, she's making it a better place. She's a fashion designer, a sewing instructor, a lady teaching important life skills to our community, and her fashions, get this, have most recently hit the runway in London. Hey y'all, guess where we are? We are at Dorcas Couture Career Center over here on Pass Road in Biloxi, about to get our fashion on. I cannot wait to introduce you to Nadine Gentles. She is the woman, the mad genius behind the magic, and you're gonna love meeting her. Come on, y'all. All right, Nadine, welcome to Good Morning Mississippi. Thank you so much for interviewing with us. Now, Thank if you, you don't know much about Nadine, fashion designer, you've been here for 20 years. You came over from Jamaica. Yes. Why in the world did you come over here? A job. I came in 2001 to go to work at the Borivage um, for a job and they interviewed me and I came here and I was just like, okay, I'm in Mississippi. So what in the world made you want to be a fashion designer? Um, my mom, as a, as a child growing up in Jamaica, uh, part of our heritage was even though you're doing good in school, you have to have a skill. So you have your job, you have your education, but if that falls through, you have something that you could always create an income with. And my skill, which is my passion and my hobby, thank God, is actually sewing. I love sewing. When I start sewing, it's a place of peace. That's it. Look at this. Her first for-profit piece. Yes. You said you yes. were so nervous. I was because it's my first client and I'm like, okay, I got to do good because if I don't, and she's a lot of good following, but I didn't expect it to go as far as it went. So and you did a good job. Was, yeah, it was amazing. And she made it look like I was, I was doing something. <laughs> This is what I'm going to teach you today. It's just a small, how to do ruffles, a small thing. It's easy. It's nothing major to it. It's more like pleats, but separated um, the way I do mine. And it gives volume. And what we do first, we'll do a seam, a stitch, all the way down, straight down. Okay. I'm going to start it first, and then you could um, pick up after me. Place it under the presser foot, which is this. We're going to move, we lift the needle up. This lever, lift the needle, and you want to actually print down. If you don't have the presser foot down, the mesh, the it won't sew because you have to control the fabric. And I'm gonna go forward. So what is it that most people get wrong when they start sewing? Being able to keep the, mach the, um, the needle going straight, the machine going straight. Because sometimes you have to keep this machine going straight so you have the control of the, the seam lines. And yeah. so if you're not and it's going in and out, then that's an issue. And then also, the speed, being able to understand how hard to press on the presser foot to make it go the way you want it to, you know, so stuff like that. But for the most part, once you get it, you got it. It's amazing. It, it is amazing to learn how to sew and to know how to sew because there's so much you can do um, from just knowing, from having a sewing machine. There's so much. And so we're going to put that in. Do you ever use a thimble? I do. Uh, yeah, no, because the thimble, it actually removes that sensitivity so sometimes you don't feel what's going on and it doesn't work well when you're doing stuff like this. You gotta wanna have your senses open. So that will be it. That'll be another one. You could do another one. Okay. You called it a thimble? Yeah. That's really cute. <laughs> what you call it? <laughs> what you call a it? Thimble. thimble. But you know Jamaicans we don't say H's. We don't say H. H. Is it H? H. We don't say H. So you say a thimble. A thimble. So you're gonna stop. You can stop while you're pulling your pins out. Yes. Oh, I'm just gonna. <laughs> keep going. I'm just, just gonna, gonna go. Going. Oh, 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 oh! I took it out too soon. Wait, 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 wait. Yes. Ah, uh, look at this thing! Can I go turn? Oh! <gasps> Well, I have to admit, I kind of feel like a lizard. Yes, yes, wow! Yes. And this was the showstopper in the London. Finale piece. Yes. What did it feel like to have your pieces from right here in South Mississippi in London? It was amazing. Um, it was surreal. The morning of the show, I got up, I was nervous at first, but then I started looking at the other designers. Of course, you check people out and you see what they have, and I was just like, I got this. You just to see my mom's name, Dorcas Couture, in the back, on the back wall, it was, it was, it was everything. It was everything. Wow. Well, you are a coach treasure, and I'm just so thankful that you interviewed with us yes. and that you put me in this outfit. I mean, she wore me well. She this is well. really, really special. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Appreciate you.